Hello guys, welcome to my new tutorial video. You can check out more this video here and today we will be looking at what's the name of this section part of the commercial aircraft and what can do it. Then discuss about NASA research which is named Area Rules. I'm Mr. Pilot, you are watching our new video. So let's get started. This video is producing for Aviation at Home group. One of my student pilot asked me, what's the name this part at the lower side of the Boeing 787? Being honest with you, I don't understand about it at the first time. I'm not a loser. Then I search about this and finally I find it. Yes, I've done it. The name is flap drag fairing. Firstly, let's increase our knowledge regarding fairing. Fairing is an external plastic or metal structure is added to increase streamlining on high performance cars, airplanes and motorcycles. But aircraft fairing structure are covered gaps and space between some part of the aircraft to reduce form drag and interference drag and improve appearance. As you know, most jet airliners have cruising speed between Mach 0.8 up to 1 Mach. For aircraft operation in the transonic regime, wave drag can be minimized by having a cross-sectional area that changes smoothly along the length of the aircraft. That's known about the area rules. On subsonic aircraft, such as jet airliners, this can be achieved by addition some puts on the wing trailing edge. These puts known as flap track fairing. Flap track fairing severe two purposes. Firstly, they contain and protect the flap extending and retracting mechanism. Each fairing consists of two parts. One part moves down with the flap while remaining stationary. The flaps are actuated using a complex set of structures and joints enclosed inside of the fairing, which are hydraulically operated. The flap system on the most modern airliners is called the fuller type of the flap system, which is illustrated like this. The second purpose of the fairing is to reduce drag that means reduce fuel consumption. To understand how fairing reduce drag, we need to understand area rules. Area rules said if an aircraft has a smooth cross-sectional area change along its body, the drag due to near sonic speed will reduce. This rule applies to wing as well. As the wing tapers toward the trailing edge, there is a noticeable change in the cross-sectional area of the wing. The fairings are implanted to compensate for the lost area, elevating the effect of the area change again. This helps to reduce drag according to the area rules, making the aircraft more fuel efficient. Thanks for watching our new video. Don't forget subscribe us on YouTube and follow me on Instagram. 